if we were to start with an asset out there, I mean, we could do a basic Bitcoin or Ethereum prediction or something more obscure. What what would you like to potentially start with? Um, you know, let's do something a little bit more obscure, I think. Um, I've um, just from my own personal experience, I typically trade mostly um, a handful of the blue chips like Solana, Bitcoin, um, the odd time BNB things like that. So I'd be curious to kind of broaden my own horizon and check out some other tickers that I may not be necessarily as familiar with. Yeah, I'd recommend anything ERC-20 that comes to mind. So I'd, I'd say skip Solana. Um, and if you want to go obscure, obviously don't go Bitcoin. But <laughs> if you want to try a blue chip, obviously Ethereum is a good candidate. Uh, Chainlink, uh, Matic, Uniswap, something like that. Those come to mind. Perfect. Well, hey, let's check out a uh, link then, because I do remember another one of your posts uh, where you spoke about some interesting uh, accumulations that were happening. So yeah, if, uh, if that works with you, let's let's dive into the link. Good call. Yeah, just put uh, put link in your search bar there at the top. Here we are. And go to that drop down arrow at the top screen, top two, top right ish area. Yep. And click on load. And type in main. That's one of my public templates that anyone should be able to access. Maybe not. Oh, Let me I'll send you. Under explore. Oh. Not sure why it's not showing publicly. Let me just send you this link really quick and pull it up. Sure. Perfect. Sounds like some laundry's finished. Oh, yeah. Sorry if you hear that. Don't Our, even worry uh, about it. <laughs> Our washer likes to to sing us a song when it's done. Uh, I have the exact same one, actually. <laughs> oh, really? I love that. Oh man. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna switch up the uh, the screen that we're sharing here real quick. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So just go to that top left arrow where it has Bitcoin next to it. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very top left. Oh, here. Yep. And just toggle that over to Chainlink. Click on it and type in link in the search. Mm -hmm. Pardon my dyslexia here. No, I've done that plenty Chainlink. of times. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So this is my main template that I, I like to use to get a good grasp of of all the on-chain and social stuff going on with any asset at any given time so we're looking at the trading volume and transaction volume to chain link nothing too crazy happening with it so i would just scroll down a little slowly and we don't see a little bit of a circulation spike there but nothing crazy go down one more to mvrv and you can just okay. full screen it if you go to the four little arrows there. Yep, perfect. So what do we see here right now? We just looked at this for Bitcoin and it looked like both the 30 and 365 day were well above zero. In this case, it's not quite so scary. Chainlink, the long-term trading returns are, if I'm seeing that number right, about one plus 1.2%. So essentially break even right compared to where things were back in march and february with like plus 60 to 70 percent returns you don't want to be in an asset when the average trader is up 60 70 percent already you you prefer if they're actually negative like they were about a week ago but at least right now we're like dead neutral which means things can go either way now the 30 day it's a little scary they're up six percent uh, the because Chainlink has rebounded quite a bit, but I like the fact that the long term trading returns are not scary. Um, maybe we can look at one more metric because this has given us some info. We can maybe look at sentiment if you scroll down a little, going past funding rate, nothing special there. Whale transactions, pretty neutral. I know that the smart money has been accumulating, by the way. Uh, we don't mm. have to waste time on it because I already put a post out about it, but. That's yes, a good yes. sign. And that's that's what caught your attention about Chainlink. I know that. 100%. Um, 
Supply and exchanges mm-hmm. are going down. That's a very good sign. So there's 100%. not a major risk of a bunch of coins about to be sold off and send prices plummeting. Uh, social volume and dominance. This is important because it's showing there's not really anything special in terms of FOMOing going on with Chainlink. The last time we really saw a big spike was way back in mid-May there with that social dominance spike. So since that time, Chainlink has been relatively under the radar compared to usual. So go down one more here to weighted sentiment. Full screen that. All right, so it actually looks pretty similar to Bitcoin. Uh, Since early June, we have seen mostly negative narratives coming in for Chainlink, which is surprising because, you know, we put put out a post and there's 300 likes and 20,000 engagements on it about Chainlink, but that's kind of normal, right? Chainlink's a very popular asset, especially on social media. So the fact that the narrative surrounding Chainlink is still pretty negative right now is a very good sign that we might be able to see further rises from it, assuming Bitcoin stays stable itself. So we've only looked at maybe three main metrics here, but it's enough for me to feel like there could be a higher probability than usual of a chain link rise with markets obviously staying stable. So I'm curious what you think, Trav. I mean, this is your Sanar account and it's just copy trading. It's it's not a big risk, but are you kind of seeing it the same way? What do you think on your end? I am seeing it the same way. I, I in my in my mind, you know, um, I usually like to try and um, if I'm going long in a position, try to get to um, get into the position as early as possible. You know, if we've already been up two or three or four big green candles, then I'm usually a little bit more skeptical. Um, so typically, if I was just doing technical analysis on this particular asset, I might not necessarily be inclined to go long. But after seeing these metrics here, the MVRV, the long term MVRV, most particularly, um, and then also the weighted sentiments, I'm feeling quite a bit more comfortable with with jumping in, and I'd, I'd certainly be interested to 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 do that today. Um, um, yeah, no, that's I'm I'm 100 into it for sure. I love it. Yeah, why don't you try going to going to your Sanar? Um, feel free to you know if you need to log in and uh, type things in without showing your screen. Totally up to you, and and just let me know when you're ready, and we can try a copy trade. Uh, Perfect. And, and show people how it's done. Let's do that now. Okay. We're good to go. Awesome. Okay. So you can go to Chainlink if you click on that token drop down. Token. Ah, here we go. Yes. Yep. And just type it in the search. Perfect. Now, notably, you can pick different pairs, by the way. So you can okay. you can choose whether it'll actually profit versus Bitcoin which can mm-hmm. be a little risky with Bitcoin really having a lot of price dominance over the past six-ish months or so. Or you can just bet more in terms of uh, link versus the dollar or even link versus Ethereum, right? But I think the two most common would be bit, would be Bitcoin or uh, versus the dollar. So up to you. Perfect. Yeah, let's do against the dollar here. Mm-hmm. And you can actually see right away just by highlighting that some of the recent signals that people have have made on Chainlink and whether they've been right or wrong. Uh, so okay. all three of those that are being shown are people who bet in favor of Chainlink going up. That's why it says sand.rise next to them. So two of the three actually got it wrong because they were betting in favor of Chainlink during a time when all of the markets were not doing too hot, especially there in the second week of June. I remember it was not a a fun time in crypto, but (laughs) late May, someone ended up getting a 40.9% return and notice they use 10 X leverage there. That's what that X 10 meant. So even though it's not real money, they're making a mock trade the same way they would a real trade on an exchange. And they gambled very well and likely were one of the leaders that week because of this call on chain link. So if that you ever wanted sense. to learn from other traders, you could click on one of them. No need to do it now, but you can check their full history 
and figure out like, is this the kind of trader that I want to copy trade and kind of follow along to see if I can, you know, learn a lot from what they're doing. Uh, it makes a ton of sense. And I know personally, I've, I've spent a fair amount of time doing that. And um, the amount of data you can pull in just off of other people's trades is ex extraordinary. Um, it's a lot of fun doing and, you, and the, the learning curve is quite steep. You learn a lot in a very short amount of time here. So I uh, appreciate you bringing that to the table here today. I know uh, many people in my community will be very excited to, to, to be seeing this right now. Um, so if we were going to actually uh, open our own signal, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to guess that uh, up here on the open signal button is where we would head to next. Well done, Trav. You're a very intuitive person. <laughs> hey, I'll, let me just pat myself on the back here. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, so yeah, walk me through what we see just, here. Yeah, you've got an overlay of, of uh, the total crypto market cap, which can be very important when it comes to uh, figuring out your specific asset and whether it's a good time to get in. So obviously over the past 12-ish days, we've seen a nice bounce in the market cap that can sometimes be a bit of an alarm bell if you're longing because you actually would in many cases prefer to be buying when markets are falling uh, regardless though uh, there's a trading view chart there as well that you can click on which may not it actually may not be ready yet and that's because okay. we're still in beta so uh, nix that exactly. for now but okay yeah, you can stick with the sand base chart and you can obviously click view on sentiment. No need to do it now, but that'll bring up the overall charts that you can check out and uh, add other metrics to it if you wish. Uh, but you can go to token on the left side, click on that drop down. L I N K. Here we are. Yeah, make sure USD. you pair. Going to go with USD. And it sounds like you want to. You want to predict that it's going to go up. Sure do. And then what you can do here, just like on an exchange, you can click like a take profit or a stop loss. So you have the option to let your prediction run the entire entire length of the current contest that's going on. Or you can decide, I'm going to predict it's going to go up, you know, 5, 10, 15% and then it'll start correcting. So I want it to just auto close once we get to a certain percentage. Or you can say, I don't want it to go down any further. So my prediction ends up looking terrible. And uh, if it drops more than 5%, I just want to get out so that I don't end up dropping 20% or something like that. Totally fair. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking and, and let me know what you think. I think typically what I would normally do is because we are right up at the top here, normally I would set a order probably around the bottom part here, this next major uh, support level. Uh, but for the sake of our video today, I think I'm just going to jump right in. Um, and yeah, um, maybe I'll set a, a, a um, stop loss below um, this, this low here. Mm -hmm. uh, just to be safe, and uh, I always, I always make sure to remind my my friends and and community here to always set your stop loss. So I don't want to be a hypocrite today. And um, yeah, I, it's is there a way that I can zoom out a little bit on this uh, on this chart, or is this kind of where we're at? If you click on view on sentiment, it'll just bring up the ah. the chart on a separate screen. You're welcome to do it. Um, Got gotcha. and then you can look at any time frame. Gotcha, gotcha. You know what? Let's just leave it at this for now. Let's uh, let's get the um, uh, the stop loss in. We'll see where that pops up here, percentage wise, and we'll just do a, a risk reward ratio that uh, that might work out well if that makes sense. Good call. Yeah, seems logical. Perfect. So let's see where five percent goes. No, let's make it a little bit higher than that because I want it to be down, maybe around thirteen thirty here. So let's let's try let's just type that in 13 30 which will be about this level here i'm happy with that 
Should we do some leverage? What do you think there, Brian? Should we should we go a yeah, little crazy? Yeah, you know, I've noticed because it's this isn't real money, right? This is mock trading. Yeah. A lot of people like to use leverage because it gives them a better chance of winning the contest, right? So like the people who have the highest average trades or most cumulative uh, profit during a given time, those are the people who actually win the contests and win crypto, which we give out at the end of each of these contests every two weeks. So for the sake of it, why not just go for the 10x leverage and see if you really nail this prediction and, and potentially end up getting the uh, the win? Because there's not much of a downside, you know, if you end up wrong, except your average returns will look worse and it'll be harder to make up for. So <laughs> perfect, perfect. Excellent. So let's do that. I've just remembered that I actually want to put my stop loss below this structure here. So I've switched it to 12 and I'm very, very happy with that. We're at 10x leverage. And for the take profit, let's see here. We are at about 1450 now. So that's 250 uh, over my stop loss. So let's go 2x that. So uh, an extra $5 on top of this. Let's do a take profit at uh, $17. And uh, yeah, see how that goes. So the trick is, Brian, this is where. Uh, should I just put that at the current price so that it, it executes right away or, or what's I think if you if you leave it alone it just starts automatically if you click a trigger price uh, or, or put in a, a manual one then it won't start until it hits mm. it's kind of like a, a limit buy where you don't want to buy until it goes at or below it you can click gotcha. on that question mark too by the way and it'll give you the quick definition Perfect. yeah when the signal will be opened essentially Excellent. So yes, I did want to wait for the price to come back down to about $13, $14. I can do that right here. But for the yep. sake of our video here today and entertainment purposes, let's dive right in. Yeah, totally up to you. Um, and you can also name it, by the way. So you could give your uh, your title and say like um, link July 16th at whatever time it is in your time zone. That's what a lot of people do. Let's see here. So I'm Pacific time. So 1030 hours. And why did we go. decide to go open the signal? Uh, let's see here. Negative weighted sentiment. Uh, we had the uh, 365 MVRV. Mm -hmm. Neutral and whale accumulation. And whale. So this is cool because what Trav's doing by adding that description is other people, when they check out his trade, they don't just see that he's longing, they actually see why he's longing using Santiment's tools. And that gives a lot more context and uh, understanding as to what kind of trader Trav is and what kinds of metrics he values. Perfect. And yes, that's uh, to be able to kind of give people insights into how my thesis is going about it's pretty satisfying for me as well. So very happy to be able to do that. Um, perfect. I think we're about ready to execute this order, Brian. What do you think? Love it. Yeah, go ahead and, and go for it. You should have a little confirmation pop up. Excellent. Proving it on my MetaMask as we, oh, I have to switch networks here first. Yeah, I, I don't see your screen by the way. So it's all private. Gotcha, perfect. And confirming. And that uh, estimated fee of 0. 0.00000 cent R is just lovely to see. So thank you for that. Oh, yeah. And if all goes well, this should be going through. There we go. So Wonderful. you get a little pop up saying it was successfully created. You can even copy that link, share it in your own trade, trading groups if you wanted to. You can share it on social media, all that stuff. Um, it's obviously it's a way to make your copy trades a social thing that other people can discuss with the purpose of kind of making trading less like you're on an island and have more of a support group and people to talk to and people to learn from. If people are learning from you, they're more likely to come to you and be like, hey, Trav, saw you were bullish on Link the other day. I wanted to get your take on this. I found a cool metric for Matic. So let's talk about that, right? 
And a lot of people just made great trading friends through doing this stuff. And I think that's something that crypto is kind of missing these days. A hundred percent. Too many um, shillers, not enough actual quality mentors and friendships. Um, I, I feel that thoroughly. So I'm, I, I'm very happy to see that um, companies like yourself, projects like yourself are, are working to change that because I think that's going to help a lot of people out. Yes, sir. Well, congrats okay. on making a signal, Trav. I'll be following along to see how it goes. And uh, I don't know, any other clarifications on Sanar uh, that you want to make, that you want to kind of talk about in terms of your own personal experience? Um, I think for the time being, actually, the one thing I'll ask right off the bat here is how can I go uh, view the performance of my signal now? Okay, so go to the top. I haven't done this in a little while. So uh, go to the main Sanar page. Just click on the top left Sanar button. Gotcha. And we'll launch the app here. Mm -hmm. So this will show all signals that are open. Uh, where it says all time, switch that to the current epoch uh, over on the right, far right. Uh, here we go. Last okay, so these are just the ones made in the last you know, however many, 24 hours, seven days, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. uh, if you scroll down, there should be somewhere that actually shows the current epoch. Uh, I think that's just going to be a never ending list mm -hmm. of signals. So yes. go up again. Uh, oh, it's on battle. It's one over at the very, very top. Click on battle right in the middle. Yep. Ah. So this shows what epoch we're on. Uh, today, at the time of this recording, is uh, July 16th. So you are coming in near the end of the contest. It closes on July 21st, as you can see by that little uh, gradual moon uh, setting uh, signal right there. Yes, yes. Yep. So we're on the 60th week or 60th epoch of these two-week cycles that we're on. And at the end of every two week cycle, you get crypto prizes. If you come out on top, uh, if you scroll down a little, you can see the leaders. And there are three different kinds of leaderboards. We have highest average positive performance, highest total positive performance, and highest total negative performance. <laughs> and believe it or not, you get prizes on any of these leaderboards. So wow. you can either be really, really good or really, really bad and still have a way toward earning crypto prizes at the end. Uh, so you can see someone like, if I'm pronouncing it right, Noor Wahib at the center. He's only made one, I'm sorry, I take it back. He's made five different trade predictions. Four of them are closed, one is still going. You can click on that and you should actually be able to see what they are. And I know we're going long here, so we can wrap it up with, with this view really quick. So if we look at his history, he's had 15 total. One is still open right now. It shows the breakdown of, of the different assets that he's predicted on. He has never won a medal, but it looks like he has a good chance of getting his first at the end of this epoch. And you can see the, the one medals, current yes. open one is OKB, where he... Looks like he nailed the bottom. If you look at the far right on that chart, he bought in very close to that perfect point uh, to buy, which is why he is crushing it with 161.75% with 10x leverage, of course. Uh, and then you can see the ones he closed as well, where he was pretty precise on the last four or so. Wow. And he... he really did a great job of closing them near the top, it looks like. He isn't perfect, nobody is, but for the most part, a lot of his recent trades have been really solid, which is why his realized performance is through the roof at the moment. And you can see here, these two, um, it looks like they were all closed from take profits, not just the standard two week period, which is also um, really encouraging here that, that these were intentionally made trades. Um, yeah. And that's that's wonderful to see. I'm definitely gonna keep track of this this gentleman or this individual here. I don't want to categorize anyone here. Um, I'm gonna put them on my watch list and uh, definitely monitor their 
their performance. This is this is some really fine work here. This is incredible. Absolutely. I love it. And you can look at this for literally anyone on the platform. All of the trades, such as the one you just made, are all blockchain backed. So you've got a permanent imprint of the prediction that you made. So no one can tell you that they actually were shorting when they were longing. And you know how much that happens in crypto Re with revisionist history. This keeps it all objectively, uh, you know, showing you what you did for all to see and they can judge you, you can judge them. Most, I've seen nothing but kindness, honestly, at the San R community. So it's people just supporting each other and trying to improve together. So that's what you'll likely find. And I will stand by that testament 100%. And we can already see that we are up a lovely 2.69%. So we'll definitely make sure to check in on this position the next time that we connect with our call, um, which hopefully will be within the next week or two. And uh, we'll see how it went. Can't wait, man. Yeah, let's follow up whether it was good or bad and, and kind of get some lessons from that. But uh, as we recapped with the markets, things look like they're they're up. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we kind of chill out for a bit, maybe for the rest of the week. Uh, maybe we just soar straight to 70K with Bitcoin. Who knows? But uh, we'll continue to keep you posted with great content coming from Trav, who uses Santiment uh, himself to make analysis. And I'll, I'll, of course, keep everyone posted on social media when we find any crazy anomalies happening in the markets. 100%. I appreciate you, Brian, and I appreciate your time and all the work that you do with sentiment here uh, from a personal standpoint, using your using your platform on a daily basis has helped tremendously with growing my portfolio, but also managing the emotions, which is 90% of trading in my experience. So I just want to um, make sure I emphasize that with anyone out there who may be intrigued about Sandbase and Sentiment themselves, and you're looking to get involved, it's, it's highly, highly worth it. And then also, uh, Brian, one thing I was gonna propose, and we'll see if uh, this is something that we can agree on for our next call, um, but uh, I know today what we did is we selected one ticker to, uh, to investigate, and it happened to be one that uh, we could form a trading thesis around. I was wondering if potentially our next call, we can look at creating watch lists or screeners so that we can use these powerful metrics and narrow in on the one or on the tickers that may have, you know, the most bullish or bearish signals, depending on what it is that we actually evaluate. What are your thoughts on that? I'd love to. Yeah, it's a super simple uh, process to do. So let's make that a priority for next time. Perfect. I look forward to it. And if anyone's interested as well in uh, in getting involved, please definitely try to find Sentiment on X. We'll make sure to post all of the socials below. Uh, they also have a, a thriving Discord with uh, very helpful team members that um, are more than eager to, to help you navigate through their incredible platforms as well. Um, also, if you are interested in checking out San R, uh, feel free to get in touch with me personally, or you can get in touch with Brian at Sentiment, and we'll make sure to, to connect you with some codes to, to get you guys in there as well. So yeah, Travis any final words, Brian? Codes. Definitely sure do. Uh, give away as many as you can. All right, we, we're very social, and anyone who gives away a code gets a piece of the action for the people that uh, are referred. So we're always trying to give back. So 100%, which is one of the main reasons why I was attracted to Sentiment in the first place here. So Excellent, everyone. I appreciate you guys all tuning in today. Keep uh, keep tabs on our next call, which will hopefully be within the next week or two. And Brian, truly appreciate you and uh, for being here today with us and helping us grow as traders. Love it, Trav. Great catching up.